We begin tonight with live pictures over downtown Dayton on our Eco Plumber Sky Cam. This as an air quality alert for the Miami Valley has now been extended. In fact, millions around the US are now being impacted by smoke from the Canadian wildfires. Take a look. This is various places, New York, Boston, New Jersey, Philadelphia, and right here in Dayton as well. Lydia Bice is live tonight after speaking with environmental and health experts about the concerns you should have if you have to be outside. Lydia. That's right, and Elise, you can see here in this time lapse next to me that wildfire smoke that was coming over Dayton all day today. And in fact, a variety of environmental and health agencies are sharing their concerns, especially for sensitive groups such as elderly people or those with asthma or emphysema. Now, I took some questions we had to Dan Cifaletto with Public Health Dayton, Montgomery County. He tells me if you fall into one of those categories, stay inside. It is recommended that you stay indoors as much as possible. If you have the ability to use an air conditioner and keep the windows closed, that will be good as well. But each person is going to be reacting a little bit differently depending on what their individual situation is. We wanted to know if those who work outside for a living should be concerned. Bob Hodenbosi said simply, no. If they are a healthy individual, it, 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 it should be fine for them to be working outside. Uh, and construction workers and all. The levels we are experiencing here in Ohio, uh, it should not cause any particular adverse impacts on, on, on them. Now, if you are outside, there are several symptoms to look out for. Breathing difficulties is probably going to be the most common effect where mm -hmm. you uh, have a hard time catching your breath. You may also see uh, some effects in the eyes, maybe some watering the eyes, itchiness of the eyes. That could also be something that could happen if you're exposed to uh, smoke for a longer period of time. When asked about how long an extended period of time is in this situation, officials say it really just depends on the person. The individual themselves have to make a determination about, about how they're feeling about the, uh, their own uh, personal situation. Wildfire smoke from another country looming over the U.S. is not something that most of us have seen. It is unusual to have uh, smoke from another country affect this area for this long of a period. So it's something that is not very common, but we just happen to have the atmospheric conditions right now that is causing this to take place. Now, Hoden Bosi told me that even if we had seen a situation like this in the past, we wouldn't have had the technology that provides the accurate hourly readings that we have now. We'll continue to keep you updated on these alerts here on air and online at Dayton247now.com. Back to you.